In this episode of Ain't Got Time To Read, I will be going over the plot of X-Men's Muir Island Saga. The story begins with the Shadow King plotting his revenge against Professor X and his X-Men. On Muir Island, Rogue fights against Guido in the arena. She finds herself not pulling her punches and hurts Guido. She finds this extreme type of training bizarre and finds the fact that Moira McTaggart allows it even stranger. The X-Men, after being warned by Forge and Banshee, decide to investigate Muir Island. Rogue begins to enjoy the pain that she is causing to others, and while showering she embraces the Shadow King. Banshee begins searching through Moira's personal things, and finds armor and a sword, which he believes are strange items for her to own. When flying around the island, Storm is attacked by a powerful mutant named Legion. Banshee witnesses the attack on Storm, and tries to help her, but he is attacked by his daughter Teresa. Meanwhile, Gambit is attacked by Madrox the Multiple Man. Wolverine comes across Rogue, but she attacks him. At the Salem Center in New York, Professor X is almost run down, as a car swerves and crashes. Stevie Hunter dived from the car before it crashed. The Shadow King taunts Professor X, and then Colossus climbs from the wrecked car. He attacks Professor X and Stevie Hunter, while the Shadow King taunts Charles, about his control over Colossus. At first Professor X is able to capture Colossus in the danger room, but it doesn't last long, and he breaks free. Eventually, Professor X is able to break through the Shadow King's control and free Colossus. The Shadow King talks to Leanne, and it is revealed that he has a limited amount of time hosting his current body, and he needs a new one soon. On Muir Island, Wolverine, Jubilee, and Gambit begin to bicker. Gambit and Jubilee begin fighting with each other of which Gambit is the victor. Wolverine decides to leave them, it is then revealed that Wolverine is only partially under the Shadow King's control. Wolverine is then attacked by Forge, who puts a device on Wolverine's head, which knocks him unconscious, but also stops the Shadow King from controlling him. Rogue then attacks Forge, and he has to defend himself. Professor X, Colossus, and Stevie Hunter reach Salem Center and find people rioting. They are attacking a young boy, so Charles protects him. The Shadow King reveals that he has caused the riots. Charles realizes his best hope is to get the help of X-Factor. Val Cooper calls on X-Factor to look into the current crisis on Muir Island. Somebody is shot in the crowd causing an uproar, so X-Factor has to act. After all of the commotion has calmed down, X-Factor are relieved to be introduced to Charles Xavier and Colossus. On Muir Island, Rogue wakes up after being blasted by Forge, and appreciates that Forge has stopped Shadow King's control. Banshee appears and attacks Forge, Wolverine, and Rogue but they stop him, and Forge helps him to regain his free will. Due to telepathic dampeners, Charles is unaware that Val Cooper is under the Shadow King's control, he is also unaware that Jacob Rees is the human host of the Shadow King. X-Factor are also unaware that the Shadow King is so close, as they leave Charles behind and head to Muir Island. When X-Factor reaches Muir Island, they are attacked by Madrox, Psylarc, Gambit, Jubilee, and Moira. X-Factor defeats them, but are quickly attacked by Legion. Meanwhile, the Shadow King reveals himself, and attacks Professor X, but when he asks for Val Cooper's assistance, it is revealed that she is actually Mystique who proceeds to shoot the Shadow King in the face. Legion attacks X-Factor again, and attempts to blow them to smithereens. Legion's explosion is massive, but Jean Grey creates a force field that protects everybody. Charles and a SHIELD team, head to Muir Island to find survivors. After Mystique had killed Jacob Reese, the Shadow King had lost his main host, and had to take over Legion's body. Charles doesn't give in, and fights as hard as he can against the Shadow King. The Shadow King uses the X-Men that he still has under his control to attack Charles and X-Factor. Charles takes on the Shadow King on the astral plane. The X-Men and X-Factor fight amongst each other and then assist Charles in his fight against the Shadow King. They finally beat the Shadow King, but it comes at a cost 
as Professor X can no longer walk again. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and press the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell.